Hi everyone. Today I'm making a YouTube Artist Collective painting and the theme is Masquerade Ball. This is a mixed media piece and I'll paint with acrylics on cardboard and glue pressed leaves onto the painting. I started by preparing the cardboard for painting. You can paint straight onto cardboard with acrylics, but a couple of layers of gesso will make the painting more durable and prevent the paint from soaking into the cardboard and make the colors more vibrant. I painted on two layers of gesso, letting it dry for a while in between layers. One layer was vertical and the other horizontal. I used a large flat brush or a sponge brush to apply the gesso. I also painted a cross of gesso on the back to keep the cardboard flat. I list and link all the supplies below if you're interested. Next, I transferred my sketch onto cardboard from craft paper using graphite transfer paper. If you want to know how to transfer with graphite paper, I link to a video about that. I had a couple of ideas for this painting. One association I had was to an Agatha Christie murder mystery at a costume party, so I wanted the character to have a bit of a sneaky smile and eyes. She's looking to the side and up, so you can see the white of her eyes below the iris. I found the free ref photo from pexels.com and I used the grid method to get the proportions about right in the sketch. The other idea I had was that I wanted the mask not to be painted on, but made of something else. And since it's summer, it makes sense for it to be made of leaves. I searched for summer masquerade ball inspiration photos from Pinterest and the masks were made of plants or flowers and I decided to collect lacy looking leaves from outside and press them and glue them on. I used acrylics for the painting, they were mostly cheap Grelando paints from Lidl, but I also used a more opaque plus color white acrylic paint. I started by painting the skin. It's been a while since I've used acrylics for something more than painting a solid background color or adding details on a watercolor painting and when I was painting the first layer of the skin, I honestly felt like this painting was going to be a train wreck. The skin was too orange and patchy, but once I got the face rendered, I knew it would be okay. With acrylics, it's easy to add more layers if you're not happy with the first result. Also, if you mess something up, you can lift the paint with a wet brush or a piece of paper while the paint is still wet. The hand on her shoulder or chest was another challenge to paint. I'd like to practice hands by making a painting of just hands, kind of like the Indian style colorful hands painting I made a few years ago. I painted a green base color for the background, but later made it a bit more interesting with the sponge technique. So I squeezed some yellow, green and blue paints onto the sponge and dabbed them onto the cardboard and let them partly mix together. Now let's move on to pressing the leaves. I pressed them between the pages of an old phone book, but I also added a piece of paper towel and tried to place the leaves so that the right side or the side that would face the sun is facing the paper towel in case the ink in the phone book pages would react with the color of the leaves. I piled some heavy books on top of the phone book and kept them pressed for maybe five days. Then I carefully took them out and tried them out to see which ones I should use on which parts of the painting. I tried to find lazy looking ones for the mask and for the dress and something to use as cups for the dress and something for the hair and the background. I glued them on with matte medium. I poured some on a clean lid and applied it on the back of the leaf with a brush and glued it on and also added matte medium on top to seal the leaf in place. If you don't have matte medium, you can also use one part general glue mixed with one part water and that should work the same. I have another video of gluing autumn leaves on an acrylic painting and in that one I used actual glue, but only to glue the leaves on, I didn't seal them afterwards. That painting is now maybe a year and a half old and some of the leaves have kept their color well while others have faded. I'm interested to see how the leaves on this painting will keep their colors over time and whether the ceiling has any effect on that. The matte medium finish is supposed to be matte but it still looks a bit different than the rest of the painting so I might cover the whole thing with matte medium to make it look even after taking photos of the painting for prints. 
A few words about YouTube Artist Collective. It's a community of art YouTubers who make art based on chosen theme every two or three months, and everyone gets to vote on the next theme on their Facebook page. You're also welcome to take part in the theme unofficially, like I'm doing here, and post your painting on YouTube or social media. There'll be prints of this painting in my Redbubble shop. I'll add a link to my shop and a link to a playlist of all the Masquerade Ball YouTube Artist Collective videos below, so you can find them and binge watch them easily if you'd like. I make a new speed painting or art tips video every week on Friday, and a real-time ASMR art video on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye!